the Bibbles. J Dog back in some more goddamn questions. First two questions are two order questions for the day. Then I have some few channel questions to print out. Uh, hopefully I have enough. It's only a handful, but it seems like this is about the amount of questions I get to. Now, pull up the phone, see what the goddamn video we left off. Uh, Samuel Johnson. Uh, love the videos, J Dog. My girlfriend and I found your recent skit fucking hilarious. Skit. I'm going to assume you're talking about the uh, Mike Violet one or the poser one. Oh, uh, that was all his idea. So it wasn't me at all. He came out. He dressed up like that. I had no idea he was doing that. I never met the guy before prior to that. And um, he emailed me the other day, too, said he has other ideas if I want to do shit, which I'd be up for. It's just, uh, I don't know when and how we do it if, if it's doing it with him because, uh, you know, we'd have to travel to do it because he lives in the state of Indiana. He said, that's where the show was. I'm pretty sure that's where he said he lives. Uh, I drove four and a half hours for that. So, you know, damn sure not driving four and a half hours for, <laughs> for a two minute video. But I guess if I was to meet up with someone like him, I mean, I'd be not totally against it. But I mean, if it was like 20 videos worth, you know what I mean? Because, yeah, it was a hit. People liked it. They got a fuckload of views. Um, so that was cool. Question, what is your opinion on the music of Burzum? Personally, Burzum is my favorite black metal, but I understand when people aren't a fan. Well, so let's get this fucking straight, too. First, I go by Toon Skis and Toon Skis only. A lot of people aren't fans because they're a bunch of fucking pussies, and they put them in the racist category and shit like that. Again, you care what the guy likes on his fucking pizza? Who gives a shit if he's a racist? Um, the thing is, is it's funny. Actually, I print out the question uh, uh, below. Well, kind of. I, I uh, It's related to one, but uh, one of the biggest fucking death metal bands in the... And the metal scene are fucking 100% racist. I've been told that recently, and none of you know. And I'm not going to say who told me. Grant, I don't think he would care. Some of you might be able to figure it out. Because it's got kind of a big mouth. Um, and I gaze through my videos every now and again. Maybe going, oh, you can say it was me. I don't give a shit. He recently called me. And when he told me, I wasn't the least bit surprised. I'm like, oh, where they're from and shit. And no one... We'll get to it in a minute. I'll say which band it is once we get to the goddamn question. But, uh... They're 100% fucking racist. He knows them personally. 100% knows it. Use the N word more than anybody knows. He's going to comment on that in a few seconds. But one of the biggest death metal bands, Big Four, brah, brah. So what difference does it make if they're fucking metal racist? You know what I mean? If you like them or not. You like the music or fucking don't you? I mean, I guarantee there's tons of like big rock bands just like that, especially if they're from the South or something in the 70s. They probably were too. So it's like, just go by the goddamn music. You don't need to like their personality. Burzum for me, though, no, they fucking suck. I, I thought in the first two records, his voice sounds good. Zero riffs. Boring as shit. Guitar, weak as piss. Um, not in the whole fucking singing about fucking force and shit. And and, and it's not into it, brah, brah. I'm, I'm, I'm in the down with the devil. I'm another maybe exception to, exception to the rule uh, of stuff that I like. But in general, yeah, just the whole... That was kind of like the beginning of the forest worshiping bullshit, as opposed to when you had the bands like Mayhem, their, their counteractor or whatever, you'd say, you know, these guys hated each other, or at least eventually did. Um, you know, Mayhem was singing about fucking, yeah, looks at to Death Crush, just death, Chainsaw Guts Fuck, songs like that. That was just lyrically wise, I like that better. Um, so yeah, never was a goddamn Burzum fan, but I must admit his voice on the first two records was unique and cool sounding. Um, the guy himself is just a fucking poser. Uh, just some dude that's not into metal. Like, again, back then, at least according to Lords of Chaos and interviews and little bits and pieces. I mean, I don't follow his whole YouTube channel before. I guess it got taken down. Uh, that's what somebody said. I don't know. I don't follow the guy. But I've seen a video here and there um, that he likes metal. By, so what do you do? He's, he's like all these other guys, dude. He liked it when he was a kid. He was picking up Venom, Merciful Fate, Sodom, Sarcophago. Let me do my metal band. He got fucking burnt out on it at whatever age or by the time he went to prison. I don't like this fucking heavy headbanging shit. But yet he's still putting out records because he's getting a hell of a paycheck. Well, if you're doing it for money, j Dog, you do shows. Not really because he doesn't fucking need to. I'm telling you right now, I know for a fact that he's getting a juicy fucking paycheck for any studio goddamn. I know that for a 100% fact. I know it's in the six figures. I've heard the numbers thrown around. So uh, don't know the exact number, but I know it's in the six, six figures. That's why he's fucking doing it. And, uh, and quite frankly, a lot of this other stuff, too, it's not even goddamn metal. So this, as far as, he, he again, just like the traitor. It's the backstabbing traitor, fucking, as far as the metal scene goes. And then he's just in all this fucking, just, just this hillbilly-ass racist shit, too. And on top of his band suck. Um, 
what voice was cool in the first two records. I'll give them that. Give credit where credit is due. I, I always thought, I always say by default, Dark Throne is the most overrated band, just because I don't know how they get a pass, but honestly, maybe even the first one, because at least Dark Throne's got some good shit here and there. Um, first one, man, I just always thought it kind of fucking blue, to be honest with you. People buy it hand over fucking fist. But yeah, I'm not a fan, but it's not for the reasons that uh, the Pussy Boys are. Adam Ben, Ben and Son. What's up, J-Dog? I got a double team album battle for you. Cryptopsy's Blast We Made Flesh and None So Vile versus Deeds of Flesh's Trading Pieces and Inbreeding the Anthropophagi. Cheers, Adam B. Layla Lover 90. P.S. I just got a notification that the new Bird Flesh album has been shipped to me, so once I get it, I'll mail it your way. Appreciate that, bro town. Um, yeah, you have that, um, you, I think it was you, right? You, you have that enthroned picture disc, right? Hit me up on that too. And what you want for that, the towards the skull throne of Satan. Oh, you hear me talk on the channel. I definitely want that as well. Uh, album battle, you know, it's funny because, uh, the first four, and even the fifth deeds of flesh, I like quite a bit, but those first two cryptopsies, I gotta say deeds fucking, they get knocked the fuck out because in all honesty, those first Cryptopsies are unique as fuck, um, especially with Worm on vocals and Flow Poser. That guy's a, that guy's a fucking poser too. Uh, flow on drums, drumming is amazing though. Again, credit credit is given where credit is due. Um, between those two things alone, it was fucking fantastic, and nobody sounded like them. Deeds of Flesh, it's called like it is. I mean, it, it, I'm not gonna say everything sounded like it. There's a ton of clones afterwards and shit like that, but it literally, even for the time, let's just say more gradually melted. It's like it, okay, it's another. Brutal death metal band that's, you know, if you're a fan of uh, Suffocation, Broken Hope, Butchered at Birth, it's, it's for that fan base. A little bit more fucking blasting, though. You know, it didn't have, like, uh, the slow breakdown songs, like Thrones of Blood or something by Suffocation. You know, the slow parts, they didn't really throw any of that in. It was just pretty either mid-paced or blasting, which is my preference, of course, goddammit. Um, but let's call it like it is. It's kind of like, I guess that's the best way you would describe it. And when uh, Deeds of Flesh first came out, you know, gradually built it out. What, they, what does this new band sound like, bro? At the time, if I was there, when that came out, 94, I think, something like that, 93, 94. Um, I'd be like, first thing that popped in my mind is, yeah, suffocation, supercharged, bra bra, you know, just faster suffocation. So, again, I'm not saying it sounds just like that, but I mean, it's all that. I suppose a cryptopsy, I'd be like, if I was there during Blast Me and Flesh and Done So Wild, who do they sound like, bro? I'm like, Phew. I don't know, bro, town. Just put it on. It's going to fucking kick your asshole into your stomach. It's extreme as fuck. It's over the top as fuck. Wormy sounds like nobody. I was like, I don't know who to describe it to um, as, you know. So, yeah, I, I, I like those 2D is trading pieces is my favorite put on. But, yeah, if I was to do trading pieces versus either one of those, like I said, like, yeah, no, I have deeds with deeds with loose. They, 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 they would come in, uh, they'd come in second. So, User CQ2UU, just another fucking dumbass fucking user ID. Uh, but it's a funny ass comment. Shorts down to the calves are acceptable. <laughs> well, so the funny thing is, is I don't think any shorts on stage as a metal band is acceptable. However, shorts off stage are acceptable. And I wear shorts myself, wearing shorts myself now. And yeah, I've never understood that it's good. Yeah, you know, no, you don't want Snoop Doggy down, down to your fucking goddamn ankles. It's dumb as fuck. Uh, you know what's funny as fuck too, dude? Is uh, it was uh, it was in Indianapolis, in Indiana, and you know it's kind of in the fucking hood, right? Not, uh, people told me beforehand, but I'm mean, just like, hey, be careful! It's out in the fucking ghetto. It's in the hood. The uh, where the venue is, I got there. I was like, yeah, I mean, it, it is. I was like, but I've seen a hell of a lot worse hood than this. I'll say that. If this is the worst hood you've seen, then holy shit! Uh, I've seen. I mean, and I've never even seen the the hoodest of the hoods, but I've seen some more hood than this. Anyways, uh, I'm in the gas station getting line, and I haven't seen this in years. Again, I'm not really out, out about too much uh, civilization, you know what I mean? From the HHR and shit, there's three goddamn people here, right? You know, I'm not dealing with too many people. At the gym, you know, people there just working out. I got my headphones in and I'm... Most days, I literally don't even say hello to anybody. I would say 95% of the time, there's zero hellos. You know? the other 5% of the time, yeah, you know, there's a little bit of, hey, how you doing, that type of shit. But it's, it's a normal day, there's literally not one word spoken. Not one. So I'm not I'm not dealing with people too much. So people are like, where's this dumbass man? Of course it exists. Now, granted, I, I, I still assumed it existed because kids in school would do this and shit like that. But so I haven't seen this since like high school, right? I'm standing in the fucking goddamn gas station, uh, waiting to, you know, pay for my goddamn gas or whatever. Maybe I was picking up a bottle of water or something too before the show. And dude, there's this fucking dude 
the, you know, the, the, the saggy shorts. But, dude, he's, his pants were at the end of his ass, you know, where the fucking hamstrings insert into the goddamn, like, literally, it's like, dude, why do you even have pants on? Like, undies just completely hanging on. Like, you look, fu- dude, this is ultra fashion, dude. You just, that, that just, looks, it's just stupid. That's not a, it's not for me. That's worse than a sideways cap. I'm sorry. That's worse than a fucking, a, a sports jersey. That's what I'm like, that just is fucking dumb. And dumb, and because it's it's so dumb. Because a, it looks dumb as fuck. B, there's no way you're comfortable, and they're falling off. You got to constantly hold. Like, at what point is that cool? At what point would you think, like, yeah, I'm gonna do this? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Um, people invite my goddamn fucking videos. Uh, but yeah, it's like, at what point would you even fucking? Do this? But I haven't seen that in forever. So <laughs> you guys, you're probably like, where's he's this fucking idiot then? So yeah, I was just like. Dude, I just wanted to slap him upside the back of the fucking head. What are you doing, dude? This is a grown ass man, too. We're not talking about some 15 year old. He's probably in his 20s. So, anyways, uh, but but shorts, yeah. Talking about the guys' shorts worn by when they're on your goddamn hips. Yeah, they should go below the fucking knee. Otherwise, you just look like a screech article fucking goddamn nerd. The only way, if they're above the goddamn knee, you better have fucking pro bodybuilder open class, too. Now, this fucking. Physique bullshit. This newbie kiddo division, the pussy division. Um, open bodybuilder, fucking Nick Walker, big Rammy fucking type legs walking around. If you got some nerd shorts like that on, then it looks okay. Looks and fucking pre- impressive. If you don't, below the knee, brah, brah. Otherwise, yeah, you fucking look like a goddamn dork that needs to be stuffed in a goddamn garbage can. So here, 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 here's the juicy shit that I'm sure you guys were just drooling at the bit at the very beginning. <laughs> I'll title this of the video too, so I get a lot of clicks. Clickbait, yeah, of course. I don't get monetized and shit, but again, not sitting in office wanting to talk to my goddamn self. So uh, spill the beans here a little bit, but I'll rename anonymous who told me. But I know he's not bullshitting me. Uh, Dean H ninety two says only obituary are allowed to wear shorts on stage. First off, those fucking hillbillies are not allowed to wear goddamn shorts on stage. Uh, they just choose to wear shorts on stage, and it still looks fucking stupid as fuck. Doesn't fit the goddamn bill at all. Um, Granted, I will say this, live-wise, they do put on a pretty good live show. I was pretty impressed. Um, so kudos there. Uh, they stay pretty consistent uh, to what they've set out to do, uh, their whole sound and shit. I mean, some of the stuff's a little repetitive. You know, John Tardy still has his unique voice. Definitely not as sick as it used to sound on the first two records, but still the same style. Um and the last record they put out, I thought it was pretty good. I picked it up, actually. Uh, I was surprised. I was like, this is actually pretty damn good. I was like, I'm actually enjoying this. I listened to it like three times. First two records, absolute masterpieces. The fucking uh, Executioner demo. Love it. Uh, I have a seven-inch picture of this bootleg of it, in case you happen to give a goddamn fuck. No Hells didn't put it out. No Hells didn't have, doesn't have in stock. Got it 20 years ago, bro. bro shut the fuck up. I think there's only 100 made, too. I don't remember who the fuck. I don't even know who's putting it out. I think I got uh, maybe they came in through Hells, maybe I bought it on eBay. I don't remember, but I haven't. It's fucking great. Um, but anyways, uh, it was again personal and anonymous who fucking said this was talking to whatever fucking poser ass fucking bitch boys were over at goddamn Decibel magazine, and they uh dropped they 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 don't they don't do no more uh they won't post anything for Hell's Headbangers no more. Those racist Hell's Headbanger guys. We're not, we're not supporting them no more. So they don't put any Hells ads or nothing like this. This has been about, I don't know, this happened a year or two ago or whatever. And I mean, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. So, I mean, it's kind of like, oh, that's all right. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't say we cared that much. It was just like, it's, it was about, but like, uh, just, so the, 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 these racist Hells Headbangers bands, right? Again, I say it all the time. What band does Hells Headbangers release that is fucking racist? You can stop throwing out the fucking goat wounds and shit like that because those aren't on Hell's Headbangers. Yeah, we distribute it. We distribute Cannibal Corpse too, bro, bro. We distribute everybody. We distribute everybody in the fucking scene. So we started to throw out all these fucking werewolf bands, which I know that's the first thing that's popping in your mind. We can put them out. It's not our label. We just distribute that fucking label like we distribute everybody else. So there's, you can fuck off there. Part fucking two. Literally, we have the Cleveland Black Death all black band, not all black band anymore, but the main guy, Sicky, still black dude on our label. We reissued their shit, uh, their first records, all black dudes. I have their newest demo 
that was given to me by Chris the drummer. He's a white dude, but nonetheless, he's in the band now. And Sicky's the main one, um, does all the vocals and shit, original member. Um, I have the demo he wants us to do for the new album. And I specifically says, I don't know if Chris watched my shit or not. Chris does. <laughs> I think it's Chris. I think it's Chris. be wrong on that too. I'm pretty sure it's Chris. The drummer. Um, dr- uh, was doing drums for uh, Somnus and shit back in the day. Uh, old, old, old Cleveland guy, right? He handed me the demo of it and I, and I liked it. I was like, this sounds 70s as fuck. And I told him, I was like, uh, just make sure to put a, I was like, I want it to sound like this, man. I don't, don't go in the studio, record a full length. And it sounds like some polished ass fucking goddamn modern 2023 turd. I was like, that doesn't fit this kind of music. I was like, this literally sounds like something Black Sabbath or somebody would have put out in the 70s, the actual sound of it. It sounds good and the songs are good. It's even got like a ballad song. All in all, I liked it. I thought it was good. So more than likely working with Black Death again, a black band. We got these racist hell headbangers. Talking out of their ass like a bunch of fucking forest gums, bubbles from fucking trailer park boys, because exactly what the fuck you look like when you say stupid shit like that. And then here's the kicker. This is what the person that told me this said it in, you know, sticking up for us. So yeah, you said they're calling goddamn Hills Headbangers racist. I've known these guys for fucking over 20 years. And I know for a fact they're not racist, but yet you sit there and support obituary. He said, I can tell you right now, I've known those guys for 30 years, and I've never in my life. Heard somebody use the N-word more than those guys. Or talk shit about black dudes more than those guys. Because they don't do it on camera. Because you didn't hear about it. But when they're with their boys. All you guys know that are hating on burzums and shit like that. You know what? At least the guys that are in racist bands. At least they make no bones about it. They at least give you the fucking caution sign. They let you know. They're not a bunch of fucking two-faced fucking fakes. Let's go magazine. No problem supporting that, though. We'll say this. We'll see what he goes on when, when the guy told him that. He's like, really? So I didn't know that. He's like, yeah, damn straight, really. He's like, that's fact. He's like, I, I, I know. I've, I've been tearing it for years. So I've been around him. First plank, hanging out with him and shit. They talk like that. He's like, so now that you know that, you see how your fucking business model moves in the future. You just be still working with those guys? So we'll see. Still working with them. Yeah, this ain't my words. They mean this ain't me talking shit. It's me spilling the beans. I was told this. I was told you're not allowed to. Not, not, I don't. I don't. I, I have no I, shit. I got no goddamn uh, horse in the race. I don't know any of the guys in a little bit. They don't know me. They're, they don't watch my shitty channel. I'm sure. And if they do, hey, if I'm t- tell the truth. Tell the truth. Proper facts are facts. I know for a fact the person that told me ain't making it up. Is he? He's just winning. I, I know he's telling the truth. A little bit of information for you there, guys. Before you sit there and uh, talk fucking shit about people you don't know about. The underscore metal Marxist. What don't you like about Megadeth? And can you make an exception for the song Take No Prisoners? Question mark. You guys bust me up, some of you. Like, it's like I got to give a fucking disclaimer for everything I said or like repeat it five times. And I think that's why some people that probably know me that watch my channel, like, man, why does he keep like repeating stuff? Like, because it's comments like this. It's like, I've never not once said I don't like Megadeth. In fact, I've even made the disclaimer each time saying I do. I just saying out of all the big four, I like them the least. I only own the first two records. The rest I didn't care about. And I like bands like Blood Feast, Sacrifice more. That nobody would ever fucking say that. To me, it was just kind of watered down technical fucking metal. Like, it... Again, a lot of the guys that like it's because like, oh, he's great on guitar and all these guitar leads. Oh, dude, I'm not a Jimi Hendrix fucking uh, 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 metal musician. A lot of people. I want to listen to good songs. And I'm not saying they didn't have any good songs. But their song structure and stuff like that, to me, you put on the first Sacrifice, Torment and Fire, I'm sorry, that smokes Megadeth, in my opinion. Way more aggressive, satanic as fuck. The tunes he's now, can Dave Mustaine out play all of them? Yeah, probably. I'm not saying that. So I'm not saying it's better as far as musician-wise. I'm saying, what do I prefer? What fucking punches me in the face more of that? Blood Feast, Kill for Pleasure. I'm sorry. Fucking hits me way harder. Slaughter Lord Demos. I'm sorry. Better than Megadeth, in my opinion. For me, what I prefer to listen to, what I'm going to pop on. But do I think the first two records are good? Yeah. Do I own them? Yeah. I even own a picture disc of the goddamn killings my business. I never said it sucks. I never said I didn't like it. If you like a hundred bands, right? And if you had to put them in order, you're put on the spot. You got to go first to 100. 
but it's all stuff you own and bands you like. Somebody's got to be first. Somebody's got to be last. That's the way it goes. So for me, Megadeth would be last. I mean, they would be last in my fucking my bands I like, but I'm just saying they'd be towards the bottom for me. Makes sense. I mean, <laughs> it's just because I, I, I'm not praising them up and down or they're not my favorite band doesn't mean I goddamn dislike them. That makes sense? I sure as fuck hope so. Comes with strange, you know, look at it. What's the guy about to get in some morning? Later, goddammit. 